Hey everyone, this is Blunderman911, and this is part 3 in how to make a rounded life bar for your Blender game. In the last part, we animated the life and the mana, and in this part, we're going to add the percentage and the fraction. First thing we need to do is space, add mesh plane, change your second viewport to UV image editor, and in edit mode, hit U, unwrap. Now in the more info section on the right, I'm going to put a link to an image that you have to download and save to your computer. Once you've done that, go to image, open, and find where you saved the image. Mine's right here. So the image looks like this, and to see it on your plane, go from solid view to textured. Now in the UV image editor, what you have to do is hit the S key to scale this down and you have to frame it around the at symbol on the top left corner of the page so just zoom in with your mouse wheel right here you can see that it's upside down so hit R to rotate 180 degrees now just select the vertices and place them right at the edge of it Alright, now you could just close this back up, go to the editing tab, and go to texture face. If it says no active face, hit tab to go to object mode, and hit tab again to go back into edit mode, and then go to texture face, and it should be there. Select text and alpha. Now hit tab, go to object mode, and go to the logics tab. Add a property name it text with a capital T and it has to have a capital T or else it won't work change it to integer now add a sensor controller actuator select true level triggering on the always sensor and this one change it to property copy in the property field type in text with a capital T now it depends if you want it on your mana or on your life. If you want it on your life, put in the object name right here. Put in the name of your life plane and property life. If you want it on your mana, put in the name of your mana plane and property mana. So I'm going to put it on my mana. Select the mana plane. And this is going to be the fraction. Select the mana plane. Hit N to see the properties and this is the name of the plane or you could see it down here hit control C to copy the name and go back to here control V and property mana so this will copy property mana which is this one so whenever our mana goes down the number right here is going to go down also hit P to see how it is and now if I bring my mana up and down see that the number goes up and down and it doesn't go over 100 or below 0 now we have to make this into a fraction so add a plane scale it down and rotate it now copy this shift D and all we have to change on here is the property property is mana max property mana max is this one which always stays at 100 so this will always be 100 and it's going to be displayed as a fraction now scale this down and place it where you want I like to have it on top of my mana but you can put it wherever you want and just adjust this hit P to play to see how it is and as you can see we have our fraction for our mana when it goes down and up the numbers change alright now to add the percentage to the life select this plane or one of the two hit shift D to copy it now add a actuator and right here property change it from text to percent 
an object, put in the name of your life plane. And property, change it to life. Change the second actuator that we added from motion to property. Assign property name is going to be text with a capital T. And in value, you're going to type in percent plus quotation marks, the percent sign, and then quotation marks. And you also have to change the property from an integer to a string. Let me bring this down a little bit. Now hit P to play. And you can see that our life is now a percentage. That doesn't go below zero or over 100. What I also did is I added the word life with a colon next to it. To do that, just hit Shift D to copy it. You could delete all of these. And next to where it says text, just type in life with a colon. Or you could type in something else if you want. Now move these to where you want them to be. And now we have our life percentage and our fraction for our mana. Which doesn't go below zero or over 100. You could put the percentage on the mana if you want or both of them fraction. It's up to you. Alright, one last thing I'm going to show you in this part of the tutorial is how to change the color of one of these. So I'm going to select the percentage, go from object mode to vertex paint, and go to the editing tab. Right here, this is the color that you want, so pick a color you want the percentage sign to be. I'm going to make it green. Now with your left mouse button, just click and drag over it until it becomes green. Go back to object mode, hit P to play, and you can see that it's not green. To fix that, just hit tab to go into edit mode, go to texture face, and select clip alpha. And now hit P to play, and it should be green. Alright, so now we have our green percentage and our fraction for our mana. So this is going to be the end of this part of the tutorial. And in part 4 we're going to make a texture for this. I'm going to be using Photoshop, an old Photoshop version that I have, but you could also use GIMP. I'm pretty sure you could follow along because it's going to be pretty basic, nothing too advanced. So that's going to be in part 4.